Hello, YouTube. Just making a quick video. Uh, I want to document everything as kind of as we see it. Once again, I'm still figuring out introductions, what to do with my hands. But here I have a car. Uh, just came in today. Let's see if I can get this positioned in a way where we can see what we're looking at. So this is a BMW N20 motor. Uh, so the vehicle arrived. Uh, runs very poorly. It's making some uh, weird noises. Uh, I'm going to go over the faults here in a second. Uh, the first thing I saw from the faults was the engines having oil pressure issues. So I pull out the oil filter. Uh, so this is not the genuine filter for this vehicle. Uh, it is a Korean filter. And what's currently going on, I don't know if I can get this in the camera shot, so we get over here, is we have an O-ring here, but we are missing the O-ring on the tip. And why that's so important on these uh, N20 or the new generation BMW motors, they all use what's called a volumetric uh, oil pump. So at idle, these oil pumps don't move much oil. They don't have a lot of pressure, and they do that to reduce emissions. Yeah, same thing with the engine start-stop. So when you're missing the O-ring on a motor that's already uh, reducing its oil pressure at idle, you're pretty much starving cylinders three and four uh, of any oil pressure on this one here, and it would be four, five, and six, uh, three, four, five, and six on the six owner version, which would be the N55. So we're gonna go over to the fault code really quickly. We'll pick the whole tripod up, why not? All right, so these are my fault codes. I just have the tape there blocked up, so block the VIN number, so any type of personal information. Uh, but this is what we see going on here. So we have mixture control issues, Valvetronic issues. Uh, so when the Valvetronic is malfunctioning, we could have mixture control issues just like we see here. Adjustment too frequent. Uh, the Valvetronic has a screw drive that is internally lubricated. It needs oil pressure for that. We have cylinder three and four, combustion outside of tolerance. Uh, we do have active misfires on three and four. We also have this differential pressure sensor. The two big ones are right here. Engine oil pressure control and engine oil pump pressure too low. So when we have these faults right here, I know exactly where I tend to go to. Uh, the car was at a quick oil change center and actually made it about 30 days, maybe a little less than 30 days. And as it is right now, uh, I'm going to recommend a complete engine teardown for inspection. So the timing chain is already loose. I believe the guides may have been compromised or the chain was compromised. So either way, it, we're going to have to go in and do some major repairs. Uh, but this is just a quick little uh, a, a little heads up video, a little warning video to, the, to everyone out there. Um, that little O-ring on the tip is super important. If you had an older generation engine from BMW, the N52, the N54, the M54, it's not as critical because that oil pump is always giving you oil and is dumping pressure. So if that O-ring is missing, it'll do just, I don't want to say it'll do fine, but that oil pump has more than enough flow and pressure. For the newer generation with the volumetric oil control, you are just asking, um, for trouble when you don't replace that o-ring the o-rings can get brittle over time um, and they don't seal right they basically get squared off or in this case if a technician forgets to uh, install it or if the center forgets to install the o-ring they remove it they're trying to rush through an oil change then we could have really uh, detrimental failure to the engine i don't want to make this video too long uh, i'll probably title this engine with these fault codes right here and go from there